Hello everyone, I'm Lai Songhom Dosun Maite and I'm going to speak on the topic depression. Depression is one of the leading causes of disability in the world. Depression is a mental disorder condition characterized by persistently depressed moods or loss of interest in activities causing significant imper impairment in their lives. It can be difficult to understand depression because it is intangible or invisible. It is a disorder defined by thoughts, behavior, and feelings rather than symptoms like vomiting, rashes, or fever. Since it is a mental condition, it is hard to understand depression, but one must not be confused about the difference between depression and just being depressed. Almost every individual faces ups and downs in their daily life. Losing a job, having a poor academic grade, having an argument with other individuals, and even a rainy day brings feel feelings of sadness to the individual's daily life. Sometimes it does not trigger, it just pops out of the blue. The change in circumstances can make these feelings disappear over a little time. That's what feeling depressed means, it doesn't last for so long. But clinical depression is different. It's a medical disorder and it won't just go away just because we wanted to. It lingers for at least two consecutive weeks and consequently interfere with one's ability to work, act, and handle things. It is an illness that can affect anyone, regardless of sex, age, race, income, tradition, or culture. Depression causes feelings of sadness and loss of interest in activities that we once enjoyed performing. It can also lead to a variety of emotional and physical problems such as low mood, changes in appetite, feeling worthlessness, or excessively guilty over a small matter, sleeping either too much or too little, poor concentration, restlessness or slowness, loss of energy, or recurrent thoughts of suicide, which is very dangerous, difficulty in concentrating, remembering and making decisions, thereby affecting one's ability to function at work and at home. Research suggests that genetic, biological, environmental, and psychological factors play a role in depression. People who have a family history of depression are most likely to experience the disorder. Just because the parents have depression, it doesn't necessarily mean that the individual will inherit it, but the chances are greater. Talking about environmental and psychological factor, living in poverty, experiencing traumatic even social status with peer, sexual orientation, and other stressful situations may trigger this disorder. Depression does not always have a clear trigger, which often leads to a person not understanding why they feel so down. The pair of adolescents and teenagers is also a mental gap of depression. Teenagers who are depressed often get into trouble. They are easily frustrated over small things. They got restless or have self low self esteem. Teens and adolescents develop feelings of worthlessness and in the legacy over their grades leading to depression. Sometimes there are cases of suicides in their cases. In adolescents, females begin to experience depression more often than males due to the biological life cycle and hormonal factors unique to women. Even those individuals who have experienced depression find it hard to understand about their feelings, their experiences. They often blame themselves because they couldn't make out or recuperate from depression, which is a hard case. Depression may occur along with many other mental diseases and illnesses, such as heart diseases, cancer, and chronic pain. Depression can 
worsen the case of the diseases and vice versa. Sometimes medication taken for the other mental diseases or illnesses may contribute to the cause of depression. In summary, depression is a disorder that's widespread but poorly understood. The symptoms can negatively affect a person's thoughts, behaviors, and feelings to a debilitating degree. Depression treatments can be done using medication and psychotherapy, but it is more effective when we use both of, of the treatments. Choosing the right treatment plan based on the person's individual needs and medical situation under a provider's care is very much necessary for an individual undergoing treatment for depression. Thank you.